So to consumers, Lefty's been around about 10 years. Uh, we worked on it another couple years before that, making Lefty about 12 years old. But uh, I was in Whistler one day looking through the woods and came across this. And our friend Aristotle said, if one way better than another, that you may be sure it's nature's way. And uh, while the English is a little broken up, really if you look around, a lot of the incredible designs replicate nature. And that's really kind of what we want to show that, you know, it's kind of a fun way to start. But back in the, uh, yeah, late 90s, we started working on Lefty. This is our proof of concept. It's actually uh, one of our downhill forks at the time. And uh, we adapted it to a set of clamps. And amazingly enough, it worked. It had lockout, uh, adjustable rebound, and an air spring. So from where we are today, the first uh, prototype actually includes a lot of the same features. Um, our first fork was a cast tie, I'm sorry, a welded steel lower. Um, still, all of them have that needle bearing technology. Had it again, lockout, rebound kind of a standard clamp. For the 2002 Olympics in Sydney, we wanted to come out with something that would really blow our riders' minds. And uh, the ELO was mounted right by their shifter. And with just a push of the button, it would actuate, uh, you can even see the red light still going on. Eight years later, it would actuate a little motor that would lock out the fork. And so for the Olympics, it weighed uh, 2.9 pounds, so for, what, eight years ago, that was a pretty astonishing fork weight. Uh, moving up, we started to pair with some of our uh, partners. This is a good example of Manitou's uh, TPC damper, and so they had a really great design where they used a, a rubber air bladder to uh, kind of absorb all the extra oil in a shaft displacement, something that had never been done in a fork before, and so by partnering with those guys, we kind of uh, got a jump on the competition. We took downhill technology and put it into an all-mountain application. So at 130 mil of travel in 2003, that Manitou uh, TPC Plus was pretty awesome. So moving up, Fox Terra Logic. Following the trends in suspension, wanting to perfectly match the front and rear suspension, we partnered with Fox. They're right up the street here in Watsonville, California. It allows us to ride and make changes and test um, really in the same day. So we'll go ride in the demo forest. We'll go back to the Fox factory, drop off our bikes, and uh, magically some fantastic R&D engineers go to work. Um, Brian and Dennis over there and make us some incredible, uh, incredible changes and, and really get us back on the trail the next day. Um, Always looking for the fastest, lightest, stiffest platform for our uh, CFR riders. We've got a Lefty Carbon DLR SL, which is really what we're running in a lot of our bikes in the cross country segment, 2.6 pounds. All right, at 2.6 pounds, you're still a three quarters of a pound lighter than anybody out there on the racetrack. So a distinct advantage, um, really, right off the start line. Uh, moving up, PBR, that's what we talked about a little earlier. Super easy lockout, rebound adjustable. Um, you'll notice in this one, there's no overlap um, in the lower. So we're actually like our stems and the upper clamps, uh, as well as the backbone on the RZs, we're 3D forging that whole piece. So less parts means less weight, but it really is the ability for the engineers to control every radius every tolerance and forge that right in. So forging aligns the grain structure better, makes a lighter, stiffer, and more fatigue resistant part. So 3D forging, amazing. And that brings us to Simon, okay? Simon is really the evolution of suspension. We use a, a microprocessor and two data acquisition ports, one that's a, a G sensor and one that's a linear encoder to find out what the bump's gonna be and react to that bump in 0.4 milliseconds. So to put that into perspective, it takes you about 10 mil 0.1 milliseconds for you to feel anything from your fingers to your brain. So that thing is sending it twice as fast as our electrical system and about 10 times as fast as the deflection of a tire. So before the tire deflects, that thing has already made an adjustment in the computer close an orifice and let the perfect amount of oil go through to give you that damping. So, pretty amazing. His name is Simon and, uh, well, that's 10 years of Lefty. What's next? To be determined, 
join us next year. I want to thank the great engineers at Cannondale, my friend uh, Kevin over at tooltape.com for the uh, awesome outlines, and uh, yeah, get out and ride. <laughs>